Well, you know, obviously we want to get everyone on film uh, and be able to see how they perform uh, on the big stage, so to speak. You know, so again, I uh, haven't watched it yet, so, so I'm always hesitant to evaluate the guys live. You know, so I turn the film on to see, uh, but did some good things. Uh, obviously did some things that we got to work on, and uh, but the biggest thing is just our tempo. We got to push our tempo better. Uh, too many delay of games, and, and that's on the quarterback, right? So again, it's the first time that we performed under the clock. Again, something to learn from, but we got to push our tempo if we, if we want to be the, the, the dynamic, explosive offense we're capable of being. You know, of course, Marquise was our headliner. Uh, he and Savion uh, really set the tone last year, but you know, we had a lot of guys that returned off the 10th ranked defense in the country. You know, led by Isaiah Land, uh, B.J. Bowler, General Hunt, and Darius Fagan. Uh, you know, Courtney Cox, and we have a ton of guys that have a lot of great game experience, and uh, they brought the intensity today. Uh, again, made us, gave up a couple of plays, uh, not tackling, but other than that, a lot of tackles for loss, a lot of negative plays, uh, had a pick six, and so again, they showed the, the big play abilities that they have, and uh, that's why the Dark Cloud defense will, in our opinion, be one of the best in the country. The positive, I thought the guys competed. Um, I thought we flew around, made some plays on both sides of the ball. Um, special teams-wise, made a couple of uh, field goals, uh, and so it was good to be able to get that on film. Uh, things we got to work on, obviously, same uh, reoccurring theme, just the discipline. Too many pre-snap penalties on offense. Um, had a couple probably on sportsman likes throughout the scrimmage, you know, assessing celebration, playing without a helmet, just little things that we have to clean up to be a, a disciplined football team. But a lot to learn off of, uh, a lot of good film to watch, and uh, but overall really pleased with just how we flew around and I think we got, uh, had, a, had a good foundation today to build on. Um, it went good, defense executed a lot. It's just that we got to focus on all the pre-snap penalties and stuff like that. But between the whistle, we played with, with good effort and we executed on defense. We definitely worked out a lot of our kinks and this first scrimmage was just to get out a lot of the rust knocked off. But we got a lot of dudes who came off of like surgeries who didn't play this spring and stuff like that or didn't play the last half of the season. So it was really just a good time to knock off the rust and get back in that playing mode. Uh, a lot of new things that was put in coming into the scrimmage. Uh, I say the, the goal is for today was to, to grow as a team, to grow as an offense. But today we didn't reach our potential where we wanted to reach. But be the best thing about it is we got time to get everything together. Uh, all the quarterbacks played good. Everyone making the good reads, right reads. I didn't play to my standard today, but I made sure I get that fixed. But everyone's having fun. All the quarterback making reads, we all making the right throws. And we all out here having, like, we glad to be out here. So that was the biggest thing. I don't have no space to, to mess up. Uh, only I could lose my spot. And not quarterback room, man, we stack. Like, we got players, like, they, anybody could play on the field. So it, it motivates me. It makes me go harder. It makes me do the little things what other people not doing. So as if it's just watching film, coming out here, just tossing the ball, or even going to get stretched out, something just little as that. But the quarterback group, we real tight and all of us could play, so, and all of us is going to play. So I'm real happy to see all of us play and execute. Well, you know, the thing about it, whenever you lose a coach like Brandon Sharp, you know, who had been in this program for four years and those guys knew, knew him, he knew the players front, front and back, and then you bring a guy in right before training camp, uh, that's always a challenge. Uh, but again, Coach Coley, uh, Cozy came right in day one and jumped right in and, and immediately bonded with the guys. He's no stranger to this area, you know, played his football across the street at Florida State, uh, was a big time performer there, has been a head coach, has been a coordinator. And so again, the knowledge that he brings, the expertise he brings, the energy that he brings to the position, uh, I think is something that our guys gravitated to. So we're excited about him and, and Coach Borgen as well, you know, coming in from Elizabeth City. You know, he's been a coordinator as well. Uh, as well. And so having two guys that have power five playing experience, NFL uh, playing experience, and coordinator and head coach coaching experience, uh, I think really gives our defensive secondary a chance to continue to develop and grow. And uh, I think we have a chance to have one of the top units in the country.